see you without your shirt. Um, okay, good morning, everyone. It is uh, the 11th of April. We're into day four of day four of week zero of Cord B of 10 Academy intensive training. Um, I kind of feel like I'm going to go back and look at these videos in a couple of years and see how uh, things have changed over the years. Um, <clears throat> Eid Mubarak to everyone. Hope that you guys had, for those who are celebrating, hope you had a good celebration, time with the family. It was uh, from our side, uh, I think we didn't realize it until we were in the middle of the week, so we had to make a little bit of a last minute change. So apologies for not uh, foreseeing that, but happy to be here today. And uh, I think we're gonna, the content has been adjusted to make everything fit uh, so that it still fits within the time that we have ahead. Um, so we have a couple of announcements, but before that, I just wanna go to the group and see if there's any, burning issues from any of the trainees, any questions that we want to cover, um, any and, and then announcements from the team, and then I would uh, go with a couple of announcements from my side. But first to the week zero trainees, any questions, any kind of burning issues, any issues that people want to raise? Nothing there. Okay, Rodas, not now, any announcements from the team? Pascaline? Bumi, go ahead. Okay, thank you. I have a question about the second task of the challenge. Yeah. Uh, there is a part where the, we were asked to categorize, and I think the titles in different lists of categories. Uh, and I was wondering if we had to use exactly this category that you listed in the challenge document or we can we should identify them from the titles so i'm going to pass that question on to somebody from the tutoring team because i can't answer your question oh, okay not now are you able to take that question okay then can you repeat the question Kumi? okay i was saying that there is a part where we should identify and then we classify the different titles of the articles into categories. And there is a list of categories in the title in, in the challenge document. So I was wondering if we have to use exactly these categories or we normally we should identify the topic from the title. Not now, you're muted if you're speaking. Not now? Okay, so it seems to be a bit of a connection issue. So let's, uh, I think we'll come back to that question. Any other questions? So I, sorry, Rehmet, go ahead. Yeah, maybe I can answer it. Yeah. So, you can add your own titles if you want, but we also recommend these ones because they are more commonly topics that are less likely to happen in a news. So if you have additional topics you want to include, you can do that. But also these are, we recommend you to do also these classifications in the title. Is that clear? Yes, then. Okay, anything else that's burning? Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead with some announcements and then we're going to do our regular stand up. So, anyone else who has a, a burning issue that they want to raise right at the start? No? All right, so uh, as mentioned, we have people joining. It's important that uh, just for everyone who's here, one of the reasons why we have, uh, we do the training in the way that we do it is this is meant to be a work simulation environment. And part of being successful at work, so we're not here to train you. We're not interested in giving you a certificate, even though we will. What we do want uh, is to fulfill the uh, fulfill the reason that you are here. You're here because you want to get a good, high-quality, global-level job. And part of that is being able to demonstrate technical excellence. And the other part is being able to demonstrate alignment in terms of careers. Uh, career skills. Now, one of the things that I'd like to note is that less than half of the people who are on the call now uh, were here on time. 
So it's important that uh, when you're at work, that you not only show up to every meeting, but you show up on time. Um, that's especially true for companies that are operating at the global level. Geographically independent, but uh, that mode and operation of work, it has to be being available uh, on time. You should be ready at the meeting on time. So I want to put that out there. If people continue to be late, uh, you will be affecting your own career, irrespective of this training. A couple of announcements. Um, so we're into the third day of submissions. We had a, we skipped yesterday because of Eid, um, but it is still possible to uh, continue to submit any for anyone who hasn't submitted uh, previous assignments. It's useful to submit what you uh, had prepared before and move forward to the next submission. So even if you haven't been able to perfectly complete any of the assignments, the next two days are going to be hectic. So please keep moving ahead and please keep submitting, even if it's not complete. We do uh, encourage you to attend tutorials. We want you to be active in the community. Those are all things that we look at, and we think that they're very important markers for your future success. And this is why we have this week zero uh, training. The leaderboard, the first leaderboard has been released, and the final leaderboard is going to be released at the end of this week. So do have a look at the leaderboard. Uh, it's been announced in the broadcast channel or it will be if it's not there yet. It's an opportunity to see how you stack up. The whole point of the leaderboard is just to give you a sense of how you're doing as it relates to your peers. And I'd like to uh, go back with a reminder that our goal is to admit, um, we right now have 48 people on the call. Let's assume that 40 people are members of the trainee groups. I know that there's lots of people whose internet uh, or electricity is not allowing them to join, but our goal is to admit 100% of people who are applying for the training to admit 100% of those. So don't take the leaderboard as negative feedback, but we'd rather like you to take it as positive feedback and to give you more information about how it is that you're doing. Um, and then the final leaderboard will be released at the end of the week. Um, remember that week zero is a lot busier than the actual training. So in the actual training, we have more time to go a little bit deeper into the topics. But what we've decided to do in week zero uh, is to make it a little bit extra full. We want to kind of fill you up to see who is able to put in the work that we would be expecting um, you to have to do when you get into work. The actual training will be a step down. What we've seen is that week zero usually starts here. The training gets to about here in terms of level of effort. And then when you're actually working, we want you to enter a nice, long, sustainable marathon pace that you can keep up for about 30 years. We are right now in week zero at sprinting pace. The training will be at fast run pace. And then when you're into work, it should be a nice, long, high quality for the Kenyans in the group or marathon fans. We can call it a Kipchoge pace. So right now we're still at sprinting pace. <clears throat> this is sort of Usain Bolt pace, so it is going to slow down. The last announcement that I wanted to make um, is that we've announced, and we've mentioned this for the outreach to uh, new countries, countries that have been underrepresented to date, uh, with emphasis on the outreach that we did in Kenya and in Nigeria. We've announced, and you'll see the details, um, for groups, for women and underrepresented groups, we, are, we would like to make the amount of upfront, the deposit that we are going to ask people to make, at the end of week four, there is the opportunity to reduce the amount, uh, the deferred tuition payment amount. We, there's the opportunity to defer more of it. Um, we are not able as an organization, or we don't believe um, that we are well placed to offer scholarships, but what we are able to do is to put our skin in the game and to say, you can defer uh, a percentage of the tuition payment until you're working and if you don't get a high quality job then you don't need to pay we believe that uh, we are able to find the right people who are going to match into work and get high quality jobs and so based on your performance in week zero we have a limited number of opportunities to defer a increased percentage of the scholarship um, an increased percentage of the tuition so the information has been shared on the broadcast channel have a look and we'll be reaching out uh, next week with those people who we see that they've demonstrated the characteristics um, that qualify them for that. That being said, I would like to add something uh, additional. 
we are always open to have a discussion with every single person on a case-by-case -case basis to discuss your individual circumstances um, if the need arises. So we want, uh, we want and we're working hard to make sure that our opportunity, the opportunity that we make available, is open to everybody, irrespective of ability to pay. We recognize we can't serve everyone, but we want to do uh, work as hard as we can and deal with those on an individual basis. So I'm going to stop there, um, see if there's any announcements from the rest of the team. And then what I would like to do is to go around and do very, very quickly to hear from everyone. Um, what were they working on on Tuesday? What do they plan to get uh, to work on today? And any blockers. And so it should take no more than 30 seconds a piece. Um, I would like people to put their hands up so that we're organized. For those of you who are shy, please don't be shy. You just have to spend 30 seconds answering those questions. Um, and it's really, really, really good practice and important uh, for your future career when you're working remotely to be able to just answer those questions. What did I get done yesterday? What am I working on today? Any blockers? If there's no blockers, then just say no blockers. So let's go to the team if there's any announcements. Uh, if there are no announcements, then please, uh, trainee group, please put your hands up. Okay, so for announcements, we have um, two technical tutorials today on working with SQL and uh, database schema design. We also have our second careers tutorial. We have submissions uh, just like Tuesday. And also, please make sure to attend those tutorials because um, videos might be uploaded on our YouTube channel uh, a bit late. So, yeah, try your best to just attend those tutorials. It will help you for your attendance as well. So, yeah, okay, we can move forward to the questions. Okay, super. Okay, we're going to use the queue function, which Google nicely provides. So, Javez, go ahead. Okay, good morning, Aaron. Good morning. Uh, okay, so I was, uh, uh, in Tuesday, I was working on uh, some of the task one, uh, and I think I uh, completed, uh, I think, 80% of it. But uh, I moved to task two so that I could do a little bit of task two also, because I want to, I think there are a lot of things to understand in task two. So I'm working on the TF uh, IDF, uh, and I think I'm, gonna, I'm uh, understanding the concept and uh, doing uh, a little bit code two. So I'm progressing, I think, and I will uh, hopefully uh, complete task two uh, today. Thank you. Sorry, Javez, any blockers? So maybe my challenge is that I want to uh, uh, that I want to understand the concept, and but I have to uh, submit the task at the end of the day. So mm -hmm. it's uh, it's a challenging to do both things, you know, uh, uh, because it's very little time, but a little a lot of things to do. But okay. uh, uh, but it's good, I think. Have you been asking questions on the uh, sort of understanding the questions? Have you been asking in the uh, in the Slack group? I haven't seen a lot of questions come out. Yeah, I I talked to some uh, some people in uh, in chat in personal chat, but yep. uh, and I'm I I am also reading that the uh, other trainings are, which are the trainings are posting. Uh, but I will, I will but why, ask. But why wouldn't you post in the general group? I mean, this is one of the challenges. This is one of the risks that we face where people just are they're afraid to ask in the general group and then becomes a limited number of answers that you get. So I would really encourage people to post as much as possible. I know this goes a little bit contrary to how people feel where they don't want to post in public. People want to keep things private. But please fight that urge and post in public. Ask your questions in public. It really creates this town hall sort of environment that's really important to the community. Our goal is that the entire group moves at the speed of the fastest person. So we want to know where that frontier is. If we don't post in a public group, then we'll get different uh, small groups that are forming, which we want to avoid. Okay, noted. Thank you. Salamwet. Okay, so uh, for Tuesday, we were we were working on task one and also our CVs. 
So that was what I was working on. I did data, 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 data cleaning and the EDAs and submitted that and worked on the CV as well and the interim report as well. So that was what I was doing on Tuesday. And then for today, I'm, I'm starting to work on task two. And like I'm creating, currently I'm creating the unit tests for the specific loader and util file. And that's my progress. Uh, okay. For blockers, I didn't have any blockers, but I share the struggle with Javis. I'm sorry if my mispronounced your name, but I share the um, struggle with creating a deep understanding and also submitting it on time. So I'm just surface level. I'm just going with surface surface level understandings about the concepts and working on the tasks to just submit it on time. Yep. Excellent. Remember, guys, that this, our goal is not to get you a deep understanding yet. We want to expose you to a little bit of everything. The understanding will come years later. But for now, we want to expand your scope of knowledge. We want you to understand, at least be familiar with the terminology. You can't understand it in two days. But we want you to get your hands dirty and to become familiar uh, and to develop that sort of rhythm of work. Let's go to Dawit. Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, I spent uh, maybe Tuesday and uh, yesterday uh, doing the first task, task one. And uh, uh, to tell you the truth, I didn't understand this, the whole concept mainly. Did you but, ask? Uh, did the, you ask? Yeah, I asked. Yeah. But Where did you ask? I asked it personally. I, I asked Why? it personally. Why? Some, some people. Why? Uh, I think I was afraid uh, to ask, and uh, because even to rephrase uh, questions, what it was, I didn't understand. I don't know the whole concept. Mm -hmm. I but didn't you, know what we, I didn't we, understand. We, I didn't understand anything. We need somebody here who has the courage, like you're saying now, mm -hmm. just to say, "Look, I don't know what. I don't know anything. I don't know what's going on," because you're not the only one. So when yeah. you get to work, Dawit, what are you going to do if you don't know uh, what you're doing and you don't, are you not lucky enough to have a friend who can yeah. explain something to you? Hello, can you hear me? Dawit, can you hear me? Okay, I don't know if it's your connection or mine, but let's go on to Sheila. Um, hello, can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead, Sheila. Uh, my name is Sheila. So um, my experience, um, what I did on Tuesday was basically everything that has been mentioned. I did the submission of the CV. Yeah. I did the submission of the one page report of what I had done. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I understand tried... how, to, how to work with that. Uh, and the tutorial wasn't that much. Right. Sorry Dawid, to tell you that, but yeah. the tutorial didn't. Yes. That, let's come back to you because your connection had dropped. So we've moved on. Well, I'll come back to you after Sheila. Okay. Thanks. Um, as I was saying, um, on Tuesday, what I did as part of the submission was submitting a link showing your progress. Um, I tried to work on task one which was the EDA and the EDA for the data that we had been given. Um, and I managed to progress a little bit better. I need to understand stuff better than I did on Monday. And um, one of the blockers I had was um, trying to figure out whether I was supposed to use the ranking data or the raw data. But I got that clarified from the chat, from the chatbot and in Slack because someone else asked this a similar question and I was able to figure that out. Mm -hmm. And basically my experience throughout from Monday till now has been trying to figure out since I'm very new to all the pushing, pulling and committing um, yeah, codes to GitHub. I was familiarizing myself with Git and I really struggled because I wasn't able to find, like most of the commands I was using were not working. 
that um, yesterday I managed to figure out how to make the commands work. And okay. yeah, that's where I am. And I hope today I will get ahead on task, task two. OK, wonderful. And do you know where to ask questions if you have any questions? Um, yes, I can ask questions on Slack. From yeah. That should be the main place. If there's a question, the first thing you should do is post in all, in today's case, day four, and ask your question there. I would be expecting that there should be, uh, in the course of the day, in the range, every single person should be seeing lots of questions come up. I would expect somewhere between 30 and 50 questions a day coming from different people. And we really want to see the community answer other people's questions. We've done this before. What we've seen is the best learning happens when somebody asks what they think is a dumb question or a simple question, and you'll be surprised at how many other people don't know the answer to that. That's the type of community that uh, we want to build because that's the type of work environment that's most productive. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Dawit, go ahead. Dawit, are you there? Otherwise, we'll go to Wandera or to Martin. Yes. Can you Hi, hear Martin. me? Yeah, go ahead. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Uh, so on Monday, I didn't I didn't understand anything because uh, nothing. I was no. I, okay, no. I I did understand a few things, but I didn't understand the task. Yeah. And also, I was sick between uh -huh. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So on Tuesday, I, I worked on the CV, and I yeah. and I worked on uh, the analysis. That is, I think, task one. Yeah. But I didn't really understand understand it really well till yesterday when I started working on it. Yeah. That's when I fully understood what I'm what I'm expected to do. How long and did also it take I picked you, up a lot of uh, information from the, from the chat. <clears throat> How long did it take from you more the or less to understand chat? it? Although personally, I've been texting people individually. To like help me out okay so yeah, two questions then, one is one is why how long did it take you to understand it and the second is why why write individually and not in the group oh why not in the group yeah because i'm using slack on my phone uh -huh. and uh I, I, yeah I, I can't access it on my computer at, at the moment that's why i've been unable to like type everything in the community so i just there's someone who I connected with when we're, I think we we're doing um, one of the one of the community buildings. Yeah. So I've been texting them back and forth. But you know that so there's a yeah, there's been, also web access on Slack, right? Slack. The one of the reasons we use it is it's so easy to access. There's also a web a web access. You don't need to do. Uh, you don't need to download the app. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, well, I, I, will, I, I will. I will get that. Yeah, I figured out uh, the concept. I think Tuesday night. Yeah. What exactly I had to do? Yeah. That's right. Task one. Yeah, and then task two as well. Uh, task two is still tricky, but I understand what what is expected. Yeah. And then uh, my blockers are. Uh, I'm a perfectionist a certain way, and oh I would God. like to really you understand to push that every to concept side. I'm working. I'm working no, on. No. That, but but can I ask you a question, Martin? Yeah, so, do you, when you get to work, do you think uh, like, you're going to be able to? In one of my in one of the assignments, uh, I'm not committing my work because I want to be really good at it. Then I push it, so it's taking it really takes a lot of my time to understand one concept. So, Martin, then, I have a question for you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, Martin? Hello, can you hear me? Martin, can you hear me? Okay, I don't know if it's my side or I don't know if I have a bad network. Martin, can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can. Okay, so what are you going to do when you get to the world of work and your boss asks you to do something, uh, a piece of work, and you're given two days to do something that it would take you two weeks to do perfectly? What's What's your strategy there? Uh, I'm learning to uh, to comp just do the work to complete it, not because uh, not always do because I like doing the best. 
best work. So when I can't mm-hmm. do the best work, it really bothers me and it really frustrates me. So uh, sounds, really it know. sounds like there's that's an internal battle you're going to have to fight. It's good that you're aware of it, but I think you might have to put that into the closet, push it to the side and say, I'm going to figure out what the, have you heard this term, the MVP, the most minimum viable product? Yes, 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 I have. So I think you might have to figure out what is the what are the MVP components and get that done and then improve as you go. Okay, okay. And you may yeah, have to fight that actively. I, I will, I will. I, I, I started, uh, I started uh, yesterday. This is, this is exactly one of the reasons why we've designed it to be almost impossible to finish, to force you to say what's essential to get done. And you'll realize that you can get 80% of the results in 20% of the time. Now, figuring out what is the, uh, where do you spend that 20% of your time and what's essential is, uh, it's a really valuable skill at work. So we want you to develop that. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, Dawit, are you able to speak now? We can come back to Dawit. If not, then we'll go to Mabuba. Mabuba, are you there? Hello, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, can you hear you well, go ahead. Okay, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Okay, on Monday, I was totally lost. Uh, I couldn't understand anything out of it. Um, and then I was saying that uh, it was not for me. <laughs> but uh, then I started to break down the tasks and see all the detail. And I was uh, uh, working on the ED analysis on the CV uh, and also on the GitHub, uh, connecting my GitHub with the Visual Studio code. Mm-hmm. So I progressed a bit. So I'm now saying that I can do this. Excellent. That's and that's absolutely true, right? And what what changed between Monday and Tuesday? What? How did you get over that that barrier? I don't know that I, I was saying I couldn't do this because it's not for me. Um, but what changed? I, Something changed. What changed? I saw that some, um, most of the, uh, my colleagues were not understanding. Uh, yes, everyone that is equally lost. Yeah. Yes, this really loves so, company. So I started to break, break down the tasks yeah. and look at them in detail. And you know what, guys, this is one of the things when you get to the world of work, what will differentiate you from other people is your colleagues will look at a hard task that the manager gives and say, it's too hard. You guys will learn to say, actually, I'm going to work through this. I'm going to give me an hour. I'm going to come back and I will figure out what is the most important 20% that I can get used to get 80% of the way there. Once you can do that, that's a superpower. So yeah, I'm really, ha- I'm really happy to see, and this is purposeful. Your uh, your chief misery officer uh, is not on the call today, but he loves designing things which look complicated, but they're not. So I'm really glad to see that you persisted. Okay, thank you, thank you. All right, uh, Hillary. Thank you. Um, uh, what I was able to uh, do on Tuesday, uh, first of all, you are, you are assigned the uh, submission of CV, and I managed to submit the CV. Then um, moving on, I I was able to continue with the task one that I was supposed to complete on Monday, that is sentiment analysis and the comparison through the descriptive statistics, the mean and variation. and uh, on yesterday, I managed to do unit test and the keyword extraction. Also, I managed to compare the keywords between the title and the content of the news articles. Uh, that is after doing the keyword extraction. And next one, I managed to do topic modeling. That uh, that way is where I categorize the topics and analyze them accordingly. I also did visualization through the models that were provided in the the references on the challenge document. Uh, also, as man, I managed to uh, do clustering of the news articles by events. 
uh, that was the most challenging but uh, i managed after a few hours i managed to do that uh, by following the examples provided in the links uh, for me the blockers were the data cleaning and pre-processing but uh, i asked the question uh, ask for clarification on stand-up uh, yesterday i think and uh, that was clear doubt and I was able to move on. That was hindering me from progressing because of the crisp faces. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought it was really strict. Hillary, I have, a, I, have a, I have a question for you. Yes. Can I have a, can I have half an hour of your time today? It's okay. Okay. So my, I, what I, what do I want you to do with the half hour? What do you think? Uh, perhaps it, explain my progress and uh, what is, uh, how I managed to get my work done. No, nope. close, but not that. So what I want you to do is when people, and for everyone here, I want if you have a question, it seems like Hillary is making good progress, I would like you to ask in the general group and tag Hillary, or just ask the question and Hillary, in the half hour he's volunteered publicly to give, is going to answer the question. So that's what I would uh, like you to do. I want us to start building this group dynamic where anyone can ask a question and other people who know what's going on they realize the value of jumping in to help and explain That's so okay. can you do that for me for half an hour or an hour today just be there and answer questions as they come in because yeah, what we've okay. learned is, thank you what we've learned is that when somebody is stuck and you get an answer right away then people move ahead faster and those people that you help out in Topic A, they're going to help you out later in Topic B or Topic C. Yeah, I'm happy to address the questions. Wonderful. And really, everyone, just a reminder, we want ask people. We want people to ask in the group. Don't You can DM people. I know maybe you want to say stuff which is not uh, appropriate in the group. You want to say, look, I love your voice. You're so good looking. You're so funny. All of that stuff. That's fine. Keep that stuff to the DM. But if it's related to the topic at hand, um let's ask in the public groups thank you thank you jabez for laughing you know i tell these jokes at home and my kids who are teenagers they roll their eyes and they say that i have the worst jokes in the world so i'm glad jabez has the right sense of humor you're gonna do you're gonna do well here uh towardros okay Thanks. thank you so much yeah hi towardros uh, on tuesday uh, i've been doing uh, what i can on task one and try to understand task two uh, in addition to my submissions, the CV and uh, the one page understanding. Yeah. So today uh, I'll be, uh, I will proceed to uh, task two. And uh, I had blocker. I had a blocker uh, and I asked it on the Slack group. And I had a great response uh, that helped me to uh, move forward. So thank you. Excellent. And so you have a clear plan for the day? Yeah, uh, after the stand up, uh, the, the stand up call, yeah, I will proceed to uh, the task one, yeah, task two, like okay. the data science component building, the MLOps, MLOps components, and the uh, pipeline designs. Okay, wonderful. Okay, uh, and I'm, I have to apologize for the names. I'm going to struggle a little bit. Beth Kikadu, Beth Kikadu. Hello, everyone. How do you say your name correctly? Sorry for getting it wrong. Befikadu. Say it or again. Befikadu. No. Befi Befikadu. Befikadu. Or you can say Befikadu. OK, I'll try. OK, uh, I finished almost uh, every given challenge in task one. Also half of um, task two, but uh, on separate file, on separate notebook. Um, because my when I tried to do on base code, kept saying that my environment requires I pay, I, I pay kernel package even if I installed it, I try uh, uh, installing it, force installing it, and everything. Uh, even I changed the environment, so I couldn't solve that issue. That's why I didn't submit uh, to. Did you ask? Have a positive... Did you ask anyone? I didn't. I didn't. That was my problem. I didn't. So here, just a question for you. Why didn't you ask? What, what was preventing you? Uh, obviously, um, to be honest, like I thought it is 
easy problem and a dumb question to ask. There are no dumb so, questions. I, I know. I know it's a stereotype, but what I would, what I'm really looking for, you know, we've had in every single cohort, we always have the person who's. Uh, I don't want to use the word shameless, but fearless is a word I would rather use, where they're fearless about asking any sorts of questions. And often, what seems like a dumb question is actually a very uh, important or subtle question because what seems obvious to everyone, um, maybe somebody is looking at it from a totally different perspective. This is why kids ask the the best questions. So I would really encourage everyone here to take this um, take this idea or this worry about standing out or looking like dumb questions. We're not looking for, I mean, it sounds bad to say, we're not looking for intelligent people. Of course, we are looking for intelligent people. We're looking for curious people. We're looking for helpful people. We're looking for hardworking people. If you ingest that into your mind, you'll realize there is no space in there for somebody who is quote unquote, not smart, or asks dumb questions. Hard work, curiosity, willingness to help others, ability to self-teach, that's part of curiosity. That's what we're looking for. And we think, and we've seen, that's what's going to make you successful. So anytime you think that's a dumb question, I would like you to take that feeling and uh, put it in the closet. And then go right, straight right. and ask that question, please. All right. Okay. So, you, so you're going to ask that question and then you're going to submit whatever was missing because it's important to do that and then you're going to move on to ta your next task. Is that right? I will. I will. Okay, wonderful. Uh, Henok. Henok, are you there? Are you able to speak? If not, then we'll move quickly on to Abdul Rahman. Henok, yeah, you're, yeah, you're there. Can you hear me? Can you I hear can me? hear you. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, so on Tuesday, uh, like most people, I uh, began the day trying to accomplish task one. Uh, but then I read the question that said, do you understand the purpose of this project? And that's when I realized that uh, I didn't even know what I was looking at. I didn't even know what to do. So mm -hmm. uh, I spent most of Tuesday trying to understand the project I tried to read the questions. I read the whole document a couple of times. And then I tried to uh, analyze the data, try to try to understand what it contains. And uh, that's what I did most of Tuesday. I, I, I tried to do one question on task one. I think I did it halfway. Uh, but then uh, yesterday I did accomplish uh, more questions from task one. And what's your plan for today? Uh, my plan for today is to do some questions from task two. And also, I, I suppose we'll be doing uh, task three. And also, uh, I believe there's a, a report due for uh, today, as a three page report. I think that's today. So uh, I'm going to be working on that. Yeah. OK. Excellent. Let's go to Abdul Rahman. Hello, Aaron. Hello, everyone. Hi, Abdul Rahman. Okay, I don't know where to start, but uh, for the you last started, mission, you start, at, you, you start at the start. Okay. Uh, uh, for the last submission, I submitted on time, and that's a good thing. But uh, today, I surprised with a big zero <laughs> in my GitHub uh, assessment. So yeah. uh, I recognize that there is some mistake I made for some for some reason the notebook was empty in the GitHub. So I fix it now. But uh, that's, yeah, no problem. Uh, Look, you can reach yeah. out to the team. I mean, we're not we're not here to be punitive. We're here to uh, find to work with you. So don't worry. Reach out to the team. I'm sure that can be addressed. Yeah. So if, if you have questions like that, then um, your two first points of contact, and we have to figure out exactly who the right point, point of contact is, would either be Rodas or would be Nanel. Uh, OK, OK. Yeah. Uh, so I don't reach really, out to them. I, I would do. I don't really worry about that, because uh, I think it's uh, the most important thing is to be precise and trying to do the best in the Common days, uh, other submissions. 
Yep, absolutely. Yeah, it actually, you know what, even I would go one step further. The most important, most important thing to do is to learn, right? We're not here to do this as a pure assessment process. We're not trying to make you to build your six pack just by testing your six pack. We want to see how much exercise or how strong you get. So it's it's really the learning aspect of it. The assessment is secondary. It's you guys are out there to learn something. That's one thing we always want to do in every single week. Whatever part of whatever, whoever leaves here, even if they people stop today, you've learned something and we're satisfied with that. Yeah, okay. Uh, for for the today planning, I recognize that I focus too much on task one. So I will try today to work on uh, task two also and uh, try to write my report so I can uh, be distributing my efforts to to make at least uh, minimum product like what like uh, what you said. MVP, yeah, super important really important. So I, I'm actually expecting that just after this stand up, there's going to be a kind of a sea of questions that are coming up. And people who are really ahead, they're going to be answer, answering those questions. So Abdul Rahman, good to, good to hear from you again. And um, let's move on. We have Daisy and Temeskan. So Daisy first. Uh, hello, everyone. Hi, Daisy. So is that is actually is that a photo of a daisy? It's not a photo of a daisy. No, it's a bit. No, it's a photo of coral reefs. It's a bit inconsistent, isn't it? Another uh, coral reefs. Uh, it's from a project I was working on in school. But shouldn't <laughs> you have a picture of a daisy? Yeah, that's a good idea. So on Monday, <laughs> on Monday, uh, on Monday, I was overwhelmed i was really confused about what to do and so once i realized that the only de deliverable was the repository that took away a lot of the stress monday was uh, so straightforward it was it was actually kind of i had to laugh people were worrying about it monday <laughs> was so straightforward you know we were kind yes. of worried that people would figure it out and be like just quit because they're like this is too easy but yeah, I realized later that to, to look at the deliverables for each day as a guide. So on Tuesday, uh, I was still struggling because I was focusing on the starter package code. But when I asked the question during the women's session, I got some clarification and I realized that I only needed to focus on the ED analysis so I could save time. Yeah. Uh, so I did that in Google Colab, which I realized was not sustainable because of RAM issues. So yesterday I started over, I installed um, Anaconda and um, set up the notebook in my in VS Code. And then I encountered a lot of issues with um, installing the modules because I had so many Python versions installed on my computer. So I had to inst uninstall some of them and reinstall Anaconda. Uh, now I'm ready to proceed to task two. Wonderful. <clears throat> Excellent. OK, let's go to Temeskan. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Well, from this session, what, what I understand is uh, we are going through it together. Uh, I have been lost uh, the, in the beginning. And uh, it was tough. It was I was overwhelmed with the uh, projects. I didn't understand most of this. And uh, I'm catching up. I have connected with a couple of guys in the DMs. But uh, I, no understand now. I, 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 I understand now I should have uh, posted on the, on the general Thank you. Thank you. And uh, what I have planned for today is uh, ask more questions. Yes. Uh, more questions. Questions. Uh, questions uh, yes. Questions because and I'm answers. Lost. And uh, no, but you shouldn't Absolutely. be lost. So I have a question. Why are you feeling overwhelmed? Why are you? If we're here, I mean, what what more could you want? Where where there's a team of people here who are going to walk you through, answer any questions you want. We're going to give you starter code. We're going to give you feedback. So why would you be overwhelmed? You know where you're going to end up. What's your worry? Well, that time in the that what's pressure. The, what's the worst thing I, I that feel, can happen? I feel pressured. Yeah. What's the worst no, thing that? Can... Yeah, yeah. When I understand that, 
I, I keep moving forward in the this is not life or death guys remember we're not sort of you know this is not a, a marvel comic that you know the guy is going to turn his bracelet and the world is going to end this is learning to do ai it's not the world is not finishing who's what's that guy's name who like turns his thing in marvel yeah the thanos is not here guys and if thanos was here we could always go backwards in time so it's not life or death please do not feel overwhelmed we have a lot of experienced people who are here to walk you through um I mean, it would be, look, uh, imagine this. It's like running with Kipchoge, and he's going to make sure that you finish. Maybe it takes you a little bit longer, but don't be overwhelmed. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So, guys, we still have a little bit of time. We haven't heard from everyone, so I'd like to get uh, at least five more people. Otherwise, uh, I'm going to tell jokes. And I've heard that my uh, stand-up comedy routine is a little bit weak. So let's go to Shikoni to, again, sorry for the name, if I got it wrong, Grace. So we need three more. Three more, otherwise I'm going to uh, start telling jokes. So we need three more. Malaku, two more. Jolly, Kumi, wonderful. Okay, let's go. Grace, over to you. Tameskan, you're still uh, not muted, so we can hear you breathing. Thank you. Grace, go ahead. Hi, everyone. Hi, Grace. So, um, Tuesday, I spent Tuesday. too much time trying to copy the code. I tried copying the code and then my VS code wasn't working because of the Python version that was on my VS code mm -hmm. was different from the Python version that was on my local machine. And I spent almost the whole day trying to look at it, Googling. Again, I didn't ask on Slack because I thought it was too stupid. There's no stupid questions. You've understood that now. But please ask. Like, the first thing you should do is, like, go to your Slack and just say, hey, guys, can someone help me here? Yeah, now I know. OK. But then yesterday, I was able to figure it out. And I worked on Jupyter on Jupyter Notebook, and I uploaded it. And today, I'll be working on the task two. I still don't think I understand what task two is about, but I will ask the relevant okay. questions. Yes, ask ask right away. You know, if there's so much. If you ask now, you'll get an answer, and we have at least one person who's committed to answering questions. Can I actually just uh, get a show of hands, use these reactions or thumbs up emojis? Is there anyone else who's willing, along with Hillary, to commit at least half an hour today to answering other people's questions? People who have kind of understood what's going on. Can we get some other people who are willing to commit to answer, just be have their Slack open and answer the questions? We have Tewodros who's committed to doing that. Uh, anyone else? Can we get a couple of more people who are going to spend at least? We have Abu Bakr, Abu Bekr, we have Jabez, who are going to spend. So we need one more. We have Nyamusi. We're going to spend, we have Njoki, Joseph, uh, others who are committed to at least answering the questions. So if everyone, we now have enough people who are going to answer questions on Slack right away. So please, everyone, if you have a question, ask right away. We've, we'll have make sure you get an answer. And this is just from the community. We also have tutors who are uh, here, and we guarantee you a response within five minutes. If you don't get a response within five minutes, you should uh, write to Rodas and ask her why. If you don't get a response from that person and from Rodas in five minutes, ask to me, write to me and ask why. And uh, then one of those things should work. So, Grace, I'm happy to hear that. It sounds like we're on track. Let's move on to Shikoni. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, uh, I have not been able to participate in Tuesday. Although I joined the stand up, I had to leave the stand up towards the end. Uh, but I'm back now and I hope to catch up uh, all I've missed. So on Monday, I had uh, issues setting up my Python environment. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't want to install the, the called notebooks like Jupyter. So I wanted to, I wanted like, why? The just, yes, just, for, just for interest, why didn't you want to install Victor Notebook? Uh, I, got, I saw a video on YouTube and the, the person was like, uh, since if you write in other languages like JavaScript and all of that, 
It's just yeah. fine to just try and have the whole thing of VS Code. <laughs> so I'll you just know, trying it out. Do, do you know how many bad bad things in life happen with uh, they start with the line? I saw this thing on YouTube. So if we all if we all believed everything we saw on YouTube, then uh, the world would be funny. But okay, sorry, go ahead. Should I just uh, should I just go ahead and install the Jupyter notebook to make my life easier? What do you guys think? So who here thinks Shikoni should install Jupyter Notebook? Can we get some reactions? Does anyone think he should install it? Can we yeah. get like a I thumbs feel, up? I feel, I feel he should install both, but in a more uh, production settings, I think it would be more convenient on VS Code, basically. We can install Jupyter Notebook also. So Shikoni, can you do me a favor? Can you write this question in Slack? So Joseph, go ahead. And then, so Joseph, go ahead. Uh, yeah, um, so for me, uh, I find VS Code uh, much easier to do everything. Yeah. There was somebody else who was speaking. I kind of missed uh, who it was. But so why can we can we move to text on this? One of the reasons why we like Slack is because other people can read and get their same question answered. So Shikoni, can you ask that question? And then can we get, even if it's a brief answer from Joseph and also from Abdul Salam, just to answer the question, then you can make a decision. But I. I believe that we're talking about optimization, but why don't you pick a solution that saves your time and energy, that gives you a quick answer? Why are you trying to do it perfectly? So I didn't get the question. No, I was asking Shakoni that why is he doing it? Per why is he trying to do it perfectly? No, I was not trying to do it perfectly. Uh, in, in from like in that sense, uh, I was just trying to follow like. It was like an advice from the video I saw, like having to write your all of your code in one place on VS Code. Yeah. So I, having multiple applications. So I would I would ask that you write this in day four in uh, the Slack group, and let's see what. And so just okay. just a point I'll, here. I see. I'll put it on general. You can put it in general, or you can put it in day four. I'm going to ask that people stick. I just see a question from Wandera uh on in the nana support so if you have a question that's related to the assignment then please ask in the day the uh the group from the day if it's a general question like should i be installing vs code vac versus windows man city versus man united you pick a different group for that um okay so malaku nobody got the joke about man city versus man united or sort of no reaction there uh malaku hello hello everyone good morning good morning uh, so, uh, uh, as I, as I tell from everyone's everybody's experience, uh, Monday was bad for everyone. Like, like, likewise for myself too. But uh, for Tuesday and yesterday, I was able to work on uh, uh, pretty much uh, most of task one, and I'm moving forward to task two today. So I'll probably. Finish the, the finish task two today and move on to task two, task three. Yeah. For next for the next day, and I've been asking uh, questions in Slack, too. So. Yeah. Excellent. Sounds fine. No blockers. Jolly, over to you. Hello. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. For my activities on Monday, I was trying to set up my environment so um, i was having issues because I, I wanted to use my python environment instead of my uh, anaconda environment so but i have to switch later on then i noticed the assignment was just to submit a git repository um, github link so i didn't i didn't do motions on monday because most times i work based on that pressure when i'm pressured so on tuesday i did i did uh, my cv then yesterday i did my tax one so but the block i'm having is um during during my tax one i use the startup code and my my main branch on my github is is very different from my tax one branch so it's diff having difficult to merge the, the branch to the main branch so i think that's that's the block i'm having currently okay does somebody want to jump in to help Jolly figure out how to answer that question? Because I, as you guys will figure out, I'm not the technical person here. 
Maybe you can post that question with a little bit more detail when you talk about challenges in merging branches. Maybe you can describe what issues or what errors are you facing. Attach a screenshot, and I believe you'll be able to get an answer. Can I come? Yeah, please. I think you just do git merge, then the branch name, then it will merge it to the uh, to the master automatic. Okay, um, I, I tried doing that. The, the the Git is telling me that the two branches does not uh, match in terms of components in it because my. Or you could, you could do it this way also. Go to the go to the uh, GitHub console. Whenever you make any push, it will you see something like a uh, pull request. So you can do that after general after uh, clicking on pull request, then you see another button under to merge. Then once you click on the merge, it's merge. Or if you there is any if you still find it uh, difficult, you can just post it on, on Slack with the error message. So now to okay. continue from there. Okay. And 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 the thing is, I appreciate this um, speaking up. I think it builds confidence, um, which is very nice for. And and let let's go back to where we're we're where we want to get to, guys. When you get to the world of work, nobody knows how to do everything. And this is why we want to build this. Uh, one of the worst things that I've seen uh, new employees do at work is they sit there and they spend two weeks trying to figure out what's going on. They don't ask. Two weeks later, your manager is like, what have you gotten done? And you know, you said, look, I haven't gotten anything done. And I've been too embarrassed to ask. You should be, if you ask the question, even if you think it's a dumb question, if you ask the question within an hour because you've spent time trying to understand, A, you ask quickly. B, you ask a good question. You say, this is what I've tried. This is the error that I'm facing. I think it's the problem could be A, B, C, but I've already tried uh, D, E, F. And so can you give me a hand? So when you get to the world of work, don't expect that you won't have questions, but learning how to ask good questions uh, in an appropriate way, even if you think they're dumb, uh, is important. I can guarantee you that every single one of you, I was in the same situation, I'm in the same situation every day, where you don't know what to do. You have no idea where to get started. But fortunately, other people will give you some part of that, that solution. But your job, increasingly, you guys are knowledge workers. You guys are not hole diggers. You're not manual laborers. Your jobs are not necessarily to do what you're being told. Your job is actually to ask good questions because your manager will not be able to give you a purely a uh, perfectly defined thing that you have to get done. Your manager will give you a direction that you should start working towards. But if you're not asking good questions, then you're probably not doing your work really well. So I think, and when I interview somebody, the most important part that I wait for is, have they prepared? Are they ready with any good questions? So I'm really happy that everyone is confused and lost. And I believe that after today, we're going to have an overflow of questions being asked and answers being provided and discussions being had. And that preparation is, you know, forget forget 10 Academy. The, that preparation is useful for each of you as you go into the world of work. And what why we're here is not to get you guys a certificate. Why we're here is because we want you guys to do something exceptional in your careers, as we've seen our alumni go on to do. And so today, the, or this week, this is where that preparation starts. So let's wrap up in uh, Benin with uh, Kumi. Kumi, are you there? No? Okay. So let's uh, let's wrap up. I don't know, Dawit, if you're able to speak because I kind of jumped over you because there was an audio problem. Are you able to speak? No? Shakoni, you wanna you wanna come back in? Uh, yes. Okay, no wahala. Go ahead. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I was. Good. I've been waiting to say that for a while. Uh, came well, came out well. Thank you. Uh, uh, I I I joined this call about like 15 minutes after I started this morning, so I was going to ask like just to catch up what I missed. Yeah. Okay. So I was going to cover the announcements again. So a couple of announcements. Uh, if you haven't finished, so the leaderboard has been released. So that's uh, have a look, and the leaderboard link is available. The point of the leaderboard is to give you some idea of how you're doing compared to others. 
But recall, as we said during the introduction, we want to admit 100% of people who fit with what we're looking for. So we're not looking to get rid of anyone. We want to admit as many people as possible. <clears throat> the leaderboard will give you some information. So that's number one. Uh, number two is that if you haven't submitted anything, it's not too late, please keep submitting. Um, we have the final leaderboard will be released at the end of the week. We have submissions today, we have submissions tomorrow, and then we'll have interviews next week. Um, we have shared in the broadcast channel a link to this increased uh, tuition deferral document. So have a look at that and the information or the sort of admissions or the opportunities uh, to take part in that. Uh, we'll be communicating those next week based on people's uh, engagement and their uh, the level of engagement and their performance. So that's uh, that's what we have. Uh, Rodas also shared that we have two technical tutorials that are happening today. Have a look at the schedule. We did have to adjust because of Eid, which we didn't foresee. Uh, so that was our oversight. Apologies for that. But uh, we're going to be reducing the content a little bit for this week. Any other announcements? Will week four weeks are go into Saturday? No, we don't expect it to go into Saturday. Shikoni, go ahead. I was going to say thanks. Uh, yeah, no problem. Anyone else? Any last burning questions? Any announcements from yes, the team? Uh, yes. So yeah, are we in day three or are we in day four? Uh, are we in day three or day four? In terms of Slack or in terms of what? In terms of uh, uh, content, the content that was supposed to cover. So we're going to be reducing the amount of content because we lost today. So we decided not to go into the weekend or into next week, but there will be a reduction in the content. If there's a change, then we'll be updating the um, the challenge document. OK, thank you. Yeah, no problem. In terms of Slack, we're in day four. Uh, any other questions, guys? As in the spirit of there are no dumb questions, Jolly, go ahead. So, um, so my question is, um, the comments on the CV and um, the assignment, are, are we supposed to work on it and redo th those uh, recommendations? No, not not at present. I think for the assignments, you can work on those. Uh, for the, the coding assignments, you can have a look at them and consider them, but there's no need to redo the CV at this time. Okay. Yeah. You know, actually, there's a new formulation that I would like to use. There, there's definitely no such thing as a dumb question, but there are poorly formed questions. And so I think it's important for us to form questions in a way that people can actually answer. So, you know, if somebody says, I don't know what to do, then I would actually encourage that person to write the question in a different way and make sure that two things are apparent. One is to say, this is what I do understand. And the second is to make very clear what sort of an answer are you looking for? So if somebody just says, I don't know what to do, help me, it's not clear actually what you're looking for. A better question would be part A, which is, this is what I do understand, and part B, to ask more specifically, what type of support are you looking for? You could say, tell me what to do next, or is somebody willing to get on a call with me, or can somebody tell me what is essential to be handed in today, or I'm stuck on this really important blocker, um, has anyone else solved it? I think when you ask a question, do a quick uh, review of your question and see if it answers at least those two uh, characteristics. And we will be going through something called the question formulation technique, and I think that'll help. That's later. Uh, that'll be in the middle of the training. But that's where to really help develop good questions. So with that, I'm going to wrap, and we'll see you guys on Slack. Um, would like to see lots of questions there. Really happy to have that everyone is here. Um, maybe one question I have before uh, we actually wrap. There's a lot of people that have dropped off already. Um, does anyone have any suggestions on what we can do or whether it's worth trying to get any people who have dropped off? Is there something we should be doing that we're not doing now to um, get those people to participate? No jokes. Okay. Ouch. Oof. That that's painful. Okay. I'll I'll take that. I'll take that on board. Um, no jokes. Okay. I'm gonna try. But uh, that's kind of taking uh, 
it's taking something out of me. But anything else? The jokes aren't. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Hannah. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give you your two dollars that I owe you for that uh, that support after this call. Um, okay, all right, guys. Thank you. Have a good day. Let's stop the let's stop the recording. Uh, better communicating what's actually expected in week zero. Okay, that's uh, 